Hi there, it's David Kelly here for grassrootsvegan.com. I'm just at my uh, desk here in front of the computer enjoying some lovely uh, strawberries that I just bought and some romaine lettuce. And so what I do is I eat a strawberry. Mmm. I absolutely love strawberries. It's not the season here yet for strawberries. That won't come until about May and early June. But I'm just uh, eating these that have been, that have come from, let's see, where did they come from? Um, California. They've come all the way from California for me to enjoy. I would much rather buy local, but I don't know. I just saw them. Um, I just couldn't, they were jumping out at me saying, buy me, buy me. And I think they even had a little bit of an aroma to them as well. Mm. And then I got a piece of lovely romaine lettuce, which also has come from California. And just eat it. And it's really that simple. I mean, this is how eating should be. I didn't have to prepare this. I had to buy it. I had to go out and buy it, but I just open up the container and uh, eat it. It's that simple. It's interesting. Um, at Hot Yoga today, I noticed this book, and I've seen this book around for a while, and it's called Why Are You Waiting by, um, what's her name? I got it up here on the website. It's uh, Stacy Grieve. And so I looked into it because the title I found, waiting, into, you know, like weighing, why are you waiting? It's a play on words. It's meaning like, why are you weighing yourself? That kind of thing. Um, it has to do with weight loss and um, people that have been struggling with weight and, you know, trying to deal with their eating problems. And sh basically, so I went into the website to, to to look into it further to see what she was proposing and and what she's saying is 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 that your weight problems have nothing to do with what you eat but more to do with your emotions and what you really have to deal with here are your emotions and on one level I can agree with what she's saying um, but then you know as you read on she's saying you know you can if you follow, basically she's saying, if you follow my program that I have here, um, you can lose weight, get, you know, get a handle on your emotional baggage, get rid of your emotional baggage, and get a better outlook on life. And a lot of her, suggest, her, her methods I find to be, I don't know, you, along the line of um, Anthony Robbins' uh, style, and, um, which is all good, it's all good. But when she says you can enjoy, you know, pretty much in terms of what eating, you can enjoy pretty much anything. I mean, that's the impression. I, I haven't read the book, but that's the impression I'm getting here. I would have to say no. First of all, um, being overweight is not the only problem with eating. Um, there are a lot of people that are not overweight but are seriously sick. And unhealthy. Um, I, in fact, I, I have I know of somebody who last March, uh, at age 54, he lost a ton of weight, looked great, and then dropped dead of a massive heart attack. And he was on like a, he was doing I think the Atkins diet. I'm not sure, but I, that's the impression I got that he was on kind of a high protein, high fat, uh, low carbohydrate diet. Anyways. I know from my own personal experience, um, it wasn't about the emotional baggage that, you know, I, I it, that I had to deal with first before losing weight. It was what I was eating was wrong. It was causing me to gain weight, and as I got older, it was causing me to gain more weight. And once I corrected that by eating a low-fat vegan diet like eating strawberries and romaine lettuce, um, and you can eat this until you're completely satisfied. Um, that is when things changed. Uh, 
you know, when I, there was, like, it's a nice idea to think, yeah, you know what, I don't have to change the way I eat, I just have to change my attitude about life, and then everything will be okay. Um, and, pro you know, for sure, I've had, and I'm still working on attitude adjustments in my own life, I carry a lot of negativity with me from whatever, you know, that I have to work out. But it hasn't been an issue with my weight. Um, what needed to be corrected here was what I was eating. And that is the problem with a lot of people. A lot of people, they don't have all that emotional baggage. It's just, baggage. It's, it, it's just that their lives are so busy, they eat what is most convenient, what, what is easy to get their hands on. And that tends to be highly, highly processed, highly packaged food with way too much salt and way too much fat in it and way too many preservatives. And so that's what the problem is. They're eating the wrong kinds of food. Instead of eating plant-based, nutrient-rich foods, they're going for whatever is convenient. And you can't blame people for doing that. Like our lives, I know people who both the husband and wife are working full time, they're commuting in traffic, and then they're racing home to pick up their kids and take them to, to go to their hockey practice or, or their swim meet. I mean, I'm, me and my wife, we do that ourselves. We're running around taking our kids to whatever activity, extra, extracurricular activity they, they go to after school. Um, life is very busy for parents and, and a lot of people today. And so eating becomes, instead of being this enjoyable thing where the family gets together and we have time to sit down and feast and have a really nutritious meal, it becomes a challenge. Where do we fit in eating? You know, and the time it takes to prepare this food, it, that's what is, you know, is really at the heart of a lot of people's problems. It's not that they've got all this emotional baggage. It's just that they find it difficult to, they, they want to eat well. I know a lot of people would love to eat well, but find it difficult because of the time restraint on their life. And so maybe, I don't know, it's a lifestyle change, but that is easier said than done. Because, you know, you, you have big commitments, right? You have a mortgage to pay, you've got kids and different activities that you've got to pay for. Uh, you have debt that you're carrying, you've got a car to pay for, all these things, and, and these are responsibilities. You know, it's, it's not that easy when you're that deep into it to just say, you know what, this is all wrong and I'm going to walk away from it. Because there are people in your lives that are depending on you to be there. So, you know, that to say that, um, you know, food... It doesn't matter what you eat, that's not the problem. I think is, it's, it's mistaken. Um, and yes, people are eating, there are a lot of people who do eat out of emotional issues that they have and they're, and they're sedating themselves with food. And it, and it tends to be the wrong kind of foods that they're, that they're sedating their emotions with. But there's a lot of other factors involved and food does matter. I, I, I see people working out, you know, a couple of hours a day, and yet they're still overweight. They're run, out running miles every day, and they're still overweight, and, or they still have health issues. And I'm thinking, okay, hold on, they've got the fitness part right, so what is wrong here? The only thing that can be wrong is that they're not eating properly. They're eating the wrong kinds of foods, nutrient-rich plant-based foods like this romaine lettuce here and this lovely strawberry this is what we should be eating and actually you know when you think of it if you want something quick to eat it, it's not too difficult to stop by a fruit store on the way to wherever you're going and uh, pick up a a, a pint of strawberry, strawberries that you can eat on the road or some bananas. I do it all the time, but it's, you know, a change of lifestyle, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty long-winded. Anyways, have a wonderful day. I got to, talking about kids, I've got to go pick them up from school now and uh, 
take them off to their swim meet. So have a wonderful day. This is David Kelly for grassrootsvegan.com. God bless.